Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do a little painting just for fun. At first I wanted to paint a dendrobat. You know, these are the tropical frogs that are very very colorful. And while searching for reference pictures, I found one called the strawberry frog. And despite its name, it doesn't eat strawberries. It's just called that because of its color. And besides, it's super toxic. It's a frog that secretes a poison on its skin, and this poison is so dangerous that you can die just by touching it. Anyway, in the end, I didn't even choose to paint this frog, but it's just its name that I found funny, and so I wanted to paint a frog on a strawberry, and sometimes it doesn't go any further than that. I just didn't want to think too much. As usual, I'm going to paint with my favorite gouache, and I started by placing the colors very quickly. I wanted to do this painting in pink and green tones to make it a bit spring-like. But in the end, I had a lot of trouble with the strawberry. First of all, in pink I'm not so satisfied with it, I think. And also I think I slightly underestimated the difficulty of the subject. Then I moved on to the frog, and there I chose not to take any references for the colors at all. I just used what inspired me as I went along, trying to add a bit of texture and white reflections to give it that slightly granulated and glistening skin texture, as if it was just getting out of the water. In the end, I'm much happier with the frog's colors than the strawberries, so I don't know if I'll keep the painting as it is. I like the idea, but I think that this time I wasn't entirely satisfied with the result. But on the other hand, painting the frog gave me the idea to make a whole series of small tadpoles to show the evolution of the frog from the egg to the adult frog, going through all the weird stages of the tadpole's transformation, when it starts to have little arms and little legs. So I used the same color palette for the tadpoles and I just painted what inspired me. I really like to paint the fins in the water. I think I should draw aquatic wildlife more often because I like the movement they have in the water. Sometimes, even when you're not very inspired, it's important to paint anyway because, at least for me, I have a lot of trouble getting ideas in front of a blank paper, but as soon as I start, I have a lot of new ideas and I'm really happy with my painting of the frog with a strawberry, because even if it wasn't that interesting on its own, it gave me the idea to do a series that I find really really cute. My favorite one, I think, is the little one who is not yet out of the egg. And I really gave him a big baby head and big eyes, and I think he is so cute. If you enjoyed this video, I suggest you give it a like. It really helps the channel, and it makes me very happy to see when you enjoy my videos. I hope this one will inspire you to start your next project. Until then, don't overthink too much, and I wish you a lot of creativity, and I will see you very soon. Bye!